nice and beautiful. Today we're gonna make you some lovely, lovely, lovely Christmas drink. It's a very special drink. Most most people do make it straight through the ear, but for me, I love to make it on Christmas. Well, I'm gonna show you how you can make your Christmas sorry drink. Well, I'm gonna use a, a pack of a sorry. I'm gonna use the dry one because very hard you can get the green one. It's 125 gram of pack of sorry which I'm gonna use. And I got two pieces of fat ginger right here. I got right here and my measurement I got at least 900 grams of water which I'm gonna use to make this nice lovely uh, sorry drink for your Christmas. This one gonna be beautiful. We're gonna put some rum in it. We're gonna use some brown sugar and sweeten it. And I know you guys are gonna love this recipe. Let's get kick started. First of all, I'm gonna put my water straight in the pot and we're gonna boil it. And then we're gonna draw the sorry and we're gonna put the ginger. And I'm gonna use four pieces of cove inside of it. And we're gonna, I'm gonna show you. Let's go into business with this beautiful Christmas drink, sorry drink. Beautiful. I'm just gonna chew the 900 grams of water straight in this pot like this. Lovely and nice. Then I'm just gonna cover it and make it boil. And then we're gonna turn off the stove and then we're gonna draw the sorry. And I know you guys are gonna just watch this recipe. It's for Christmas, only Christmas drink. It's beautiful, Christmas sorry. Sorry is just nice to use it and Christmas. But well, I'm gonna show you how you can make your own sorry for Christmas. Beautiful one. Enjoy this recipe. Remember, subscribe really my YouTube nice. channel. I turn on my stove a little bit low. So what I'm gonna do now, as you can see, the water is a little bit start to boil. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put the, the sorry straight inside of it, just like this. Really nice and beautiful. I want you guys to see what I'm doing. I'm putting all of this inside of it because it is the dry one. In Jamaica, if you were in Jamaica, these are the time of year where people will just start to pick their sorry and get it ready for Christmas. And then we will make a lot of sorry juice and we'll put it in our fridge. And then you can have the ginger and I have four pieces of clove. clove. You don't want to put too much clove because it is very strong. Then this is the clove right here. We all know clove. This is a clove. I'm gonna put these four pieces straight inside of it, just like that. Then I'm gonna crush my ginger because I want everything. I'm gonna crush my ginger to put it straight inside of it. So I'm gonna turn off my stove now because it is, you can see it's already just boiled. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put that straight inside of it, just like that. The ginger gonna give it a nice, beautiful flavor. I know you guys are gonna love this one. Beautiful. Wash your ginger and crush it and put it straight inside of it, just like that. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm just crushing the ginger to put it straight inside of it because you wanna get that nice, beautiful flavor. Then that nice piece, then what you're gonna do, you're just gonna use a spoon and just give it a little spin just like this. As you can see, really strong and rich. Beautiful, just look at that, just look at that. That is just really nice and beautiful. Beautiful one, then what I'm gonna do next now, I'm gonna cover it and leave it for about 15 minutes just for, to get the proper, proper, proper simmer because you're drawing the sorry. So I'm gonna just cover it for 15 minutes. Beautiful one. Look at the beautiful sorry right here. As you can see, look at that. Rich and really, really, really nice. What I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna put a pinch of uh, cinnamon inside of it. I wanna say to you, if you of a cinnamon stick you can use that but I'm just gonna use a cinnamon green cinnamon already the one that came in the buckler that one is more easy the powder one I'm just gonna put a pinch of it inside of it to bring up the flavor out so too well I want to say to you you can put 
your cinnamon stick inside of it to boil and everything. I leave this right here on the stove for at least four to five minutes for it to draw. Look at that. That is just rich and nice. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to strain it off and we're going to sweeten it. All of these, I'm just going to strain off everything right here and we're going to sweeten it. Beautiful one. Nice. So what we're going to do now, I'm already straining it off. Get rid of all of those drop that's bits where we just we boil just boil a while ago for a couple of minutes. So what we're gonna do now? I'm gonna just gonna add a little sugar inside of it. So I'm using a brown sugar. Look at that. That is just really rich and nice. When you notice know it's a good sorry drink, it's supposed to be look at that. Really nice and beautiful. So I'm just whisking it. Put it in a big container for you guys to see what I'm doing. I'm using one of my glass container. As you guys can see what I'm doing at the moment. Look at this. This is just really nice and beautiful. So when you sweeten it now, what I'm going to do now, I got some good Jamaican white rum. I'm going to use at least a, at least a, call this a, one, one ounces, um, I would say, probably about, three tablespoon of rum inside of it beautiful look at it but first of all i want to say you cannot give kids to drink this because the alcohol is so strong inside of it beautiful look at that now what i'm going to do now i'm going to taste it to see how it tastes mm. nice i'm going to add some more sugar to it beautiful Really nice. So when you add in the sugar, you just add, sweeten, and go along as it adding the sugar. And nice. I want to say I use one cup of sugar inside of it. So what I'm gonna do now? I'm just gonna taste it again to see. Mm. That is perfect. Really nice and beautiful. Now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put it in my fridge. I'm gonna make it cool though. What you can do with your siren, you can leave it on the stove at least two and a half days, two days to make it draw and get that perfect, perfect. But I'm just making it to show you guys you can have a nice Christmas drink. Beautiful siren drink today. Well, the drink I already I poured right straight in on my, my jug right here. I'm gonna just put some straight inside of this cup right here in this glass look at that that is just beautiful and nice what I want to say this is a perfect Christmas drink I want you to just enjoy this recipe and subscribe my YouTube channel I want to say this is one of the best drink for you to have at Christmas and use remember I use that dry pack sorry it is local you can get it anywhere supermarket is worldwide now and I want to say, it's one of the best drinks to have at Christmas when you have your roast lamb, your roast chicken, your roast turkey. Then you have this on the table for your family to have that beautiful drink. So what you do when you make it, you just put it in the, in the fridge for making it to cool on for half an hour. Get some ice, put it into a glass, and then you do it just like So this is just perfect and nice. I want you to just look at that. Really nice and beautiful. Subscribe my YouTube channel and we've got a lot more videos. Which is coming out soon for your Christmas. Enjoy your Christmas when it come. And remember how to make it. Ginger, the sorry, little cinnamon, dark brown sugar, and put some rum inside of it. And boil the water and then make hot it to it and make it simmer and draw for about 20 minutes the least to get that perfect one. Enjoy the recipe today from Chef Ricardo Cooking. Bye.